With your connection to agriculture, I'm Joanna Guza. Dr. Kurt Vogel is the director of Humane Handling Institute and also an associate professor focused on animal welfare and behavior at UW-River Falls. And he shares the personality traits that your employees may have to run a productive dairy farm. Let's talk a little bit about these personality traits that seem to be related to like successful dairy farm management and maybe better for animal welfare. There's an older study that I really love where they describe the personality traits of people that worked for more productive dairy farms. Here's the list of personality traits that they identified. These people were not easygoing, but they were considerate. They were not meek. They were bold. They were patient. They tended to be unsociable. They would kind of keep to themselves, but they were confident. I'm willing to bet that just about every one of your listeners has an image of a person that popped up in their mind as we were reading this list, right? I have a grandfather that fits just about all that, right? Also a dairy producer. One thing I'd like to add to this list is empathy, the ability to feel for others. That's a critical piece for somebody who's responsible for the care of livestock. And one thing that's important to note is oftentimes producers will become so empathetic, they struggle to make some important decisions like culling, for example, because they, they always want to hold out hope, right? And that's one of the things I want to, I want to emphasize to your audience is that it may, if it's possible, it's a good idea to rely on uh, folks that may not be quite as empathetic or maybe a little more removed from the day-to-day operation of the dairy when it comes to making choices such as culling decisions. Because if you're in this all the time and you care deeply about these cows and you start to bond with them, then it gets really, really hard to make the right decision at the right time. And that's your connection to agriculture. I'm Joanna Guza.